Hello everyone, hope you're well. So I am back on my bed because I like to switch things up a little bit and um, I'm not really in the mood to film over there where I normally film. I just decided to film over here and I'm going to do a video which I've never done or so I don't think I've ever done and um, it's my daily brushes, the brushes that I use nearly every single day. You'll be pleased to know I'm sure I don't have tons of expensive brushes. Um, I don't really think it's necessary anymore with what's um, on offer to have to buy really expensive brushes. So I'm going to show you guys my little collection. These are, this is actually where I hold all my brushes and I got this little rotating, as you can see this thing rotates, um, pot from TK Maxx and it's actually at the back of all my videos and you can always see it and I get tons of questions and I obviously don't know because obviously TK Maxx is um, such a random shop that I'm not sure if you can find it but yeah that's where I keep all my brushes and um, these are the ones I don't really use that often but you can kind of see it's kind of messy but um, that's where I keep them. I'm going to firstly talk foundation brushes just because um, I'm not really a person that likes to use her hands with her makeup. If I can use a brush I'd just rather um, use one of those. I think, I don't know, I just, I'm just i very funny about um, hygiene and all stuff like that. So when I used to use my mineral powder, which I don't really use as much um, at the moment, I'm kind of back into liquid foundation after like two years or three years that um, I've been using mineral powders. I used to use um, a MAC 182 Kabuki brush and um, this is probably three or two years old, nearly coming up to, to three years old and as you can see now the um, the hairs are kind of shedding. I used to use it to buff in my mineral powders. Now I have a separate use for this, I'm, I just added it into the foundation category because that's what I used to use it for but now because I like to um, go a little bit overboard on blush because I do really like to use a lot of blush and bronzer I use this to just kind of buff out the, um, the harsher edges and um, I've been really enjoying it for that so it just goes to show that you can use your brushes um, for different purposes when you when you don't use them for something else sometimes. Other foundation brushes, um, I used to use, and I just cleaned these last night, but obviously I needed to do my makeup this morning. Um, also, regarding cleaning my brushes, I'm really quite funny about cleaning my brushes, like I said with the whole hygiene thing, um, and I'm quite good at washing them, and I definitely do it at least once a week, just because I have problematic skin anyway, and I just think if that bacteria is just you know, collecting in the brushes it's not good and I just use regular baby shampoo which is maybe not the best but that's just what I use and it works absolutely fine and it gets them pretty clean. So um, the foundation brush that I was using for my liquid foundation was the Stippling brush by Real Techniques and um, you'll see loads of Real Techniques brushes in these videos but at least you get to see like my thoughts on them and what I like to use them for. So this is what I was using primarily for liquid foundation and it's just a duo fibre stippling brush and I love it and I do really really like it but then I thought okay everyone raves about this brush and it's the um, Samantha Chapman again Real Techniques Expert Face Brush which is kind of like a little um, domed really really dense foundation brush and um, I have been loving this um, I just find it really glides on the foundation and um, it doesn't because it glides it on, it means I don't really use as much product. I find with the stippling brush, I just have to stipple and stipple and stipple. And I find sometimes I use a little bit more product. As you can see, I kept this brush clean this morning and I use this one. So that kind of gives you an indication of which one I'm using at the moment. You can buy separately. I think the, I think maybe even the stippling brush you can buy separately. But um, I really, really recommend this. When you get a three for two offer in boots or something, definitely go pick it up because it's really worth it. And then this morning, um, the other day, I was having a clear out. If you guys are interested, I have a Depop account, which is like a an app for iPhone, which um, is kind of like eBay and Instagram at the same time. And I had a really big clear out on there. I still have a few items on there as well that I'm selling. And um, it's a really, really easy app to use. And I just really cannot recommend it more highly than I am now. And um, so I'll leave the name. It's just Barbara P. Babe. I'm sure you can find me on there. Um, that's my username on it and um, yeah you can just buy things I'm sorry it's only for iPhone users but um, yeah I'm so, I don't I can't really do a lot about that but it's a lot easier than eBay so that's why I've been using it what was I talking why did I go onto that subject oh yes I found this in a clutch that I was selling so um, that's where I was going with that and um, this is the Real Techniques buffing brush I was actually going to repurchase the whole set that came with this brush just because I missed this one and as you can see, I used it for my foundation as well today. I started off with this and then finished off with the Expert Face Brush. 
and I like this but it does mean that my foundations go on slightly sheerer and um, the expert expert face brush just gives me like just a really easy quick application but I do like this I don't really like um, painter style brushes I've never really liked them in the past either I much prefer kind of dense um, brushes for my foundation. Concealer wise, now I love 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 this brush for concealer and I use it every single day without fail and it's again the real techniques I did say that um, I did put a warning out there that there was going to be a lot of real techniques and this is the setting brush and this is just the most perfect under eye concealer brush ever. It fits my under eye contours perfectly and um, I really like to have again like a fluffier brush. I used to use the Ooh, 214 something brush by MAC which I've actually got out here yeah I used to use this the, no the 224 sorry um, for my concealer. when I saw this and um, I saw it marketed as a powder brush and I don't really like um, a setting brush I don't really use setting powder and I just thought that is just not what this is made for this is made for my under eyes and um, I was right so that's what I use it for and I love it and um, like I said I use it every day without fail for more like spot concealing, I use, um, again, Real Techniques, the pointed foundation brush. I could never ever use this kind of brush like as my all over foundation brush. It would just take me yonks to um, apply my foundation. So I can just, I just know I would get streaks everywhere. So that's why I use it for spot concealing. As you can see, the top of it has already been used. Um, and then also on nights out and stuff, sometimes I like to be a little bit more precise and I use a, it can, it kind of varies between this one and just a 217 brush. I use the Sigma Blending E25 and these are actually really amazing for concealer. I used to use um, these for a little while under my eyes as well, but now that I have that um, setting brush, it's just like, I don't really use these as much anymore. But um, these also are really great for blending out eyeshadows and I have like, this one and then I think two 217 brushes and I love them. Definitely if you haven't tried a 217 by MAC, that is like the brush from MAC. The subject of blending brushes, I'll just mention the 224 and like I said, I've been using this not for concealer anymore but for um, eyeshadow blending. If I ever wear eyeshadow, which is really rare, um, but I do, if I do wear it then I probably wear eyeshadow like every 10 days, um, that is so precise, um, but yeah, that's probably how much I wear it, I don't really wear it often, and um, I use this just for blending, like I said, and applying highlighter, that's also what this is good for, and when I do eyeshadow, I also love this brush, and I'm so glad that I finally got it, I think I took the plunge, like, only a little while ago, and it's the Pencil Brush by MAC, and it's a 219, and as you can see, it's got eyeshadow on it, and um, I use this just to run shadow underneath my lower lash line and it gives a really gorgeous smoky effect and then um, I blend it out with a 217 because I like it quite dark under there if I'm doing it so that's what I use that for. for. My brows, I love this brush again I only got this recently well not recently like a few months ago um, and it's the 266 brush by MAC and um, as you can see it's a really lovely pointed um, angled brush and it's actually like um, soft so it just means that I get like a really precise but still soft um, look to my eyebrows so they look more natural I find if I use a really stiff brush my eyebrows just look really fake and um, I use this every single day again without fail. Now moving on to powder brushes again a lot of real techniques in here and um, I loved this brush for ages and it's the powder brush from Real Techniques again I'm not sure if you can buy this separately or if you have to buy it in a kit which is kind of annoying from Real Techniques. I understand why they do it, but I wish a lot of their brushes came separately. But this is a Mahoosive um, powder brush. And I used to use this for bronzer and stuff, but I just found that I was just getting it everywhere. And now, again, I just use it as a kind of blending tool. So if I've gone overboard, like I probably have today, and I probably have every single day, um, I use this just to blend out slightly. And um, it's so soft. And these brushes just feel amazing, and they're synthetic, so... Yeah, I really like that for that. And I, again, I still would recommend it. I also use it for days when um, I haven't fake tanned and my face is looking slightly darker than sort of the rest of my chest because sometimes once I've powdered and bronzed and everything, I, it does kind of tend to happen. So I just bring my bronzer down my neck, which I, I don't really do like now when I've got fake tan, but if I haven't got it on then it's something I do like to do. Um, another brush though that I've rekindled my love with is the Sigma... Um, tapered face F25 and I love the fact that this like it says is tapered so this really fits into the hollow of your cheeks I hadn't used it in ages and um, and then I kind of when I saw that that powder brush just was not being 
um, precise enough. I just thought, let me try this again, and I washed it, and then I reused it and fell in love with it. And I love the fact that the handle's pink. It's really cute, and um, it's super, super soft. Um, I ordered from Sigma a while ago, and I had good service, so this wasn't sent to me or anything. But um, yeah, I love that. Blush. Um, I used to use the, funnily enough, um, before I lost it, I used to use the Real Techniques um, buffing brush for blush. Um, but I find, again, that's a little bit too hard. I rekindled my love with another Sigma brush, and this is the Duo Fiber Powder powder or blush brush and it's a duo fiber brush and this is the F15 and um, as you can see I used it with Peaches blush this morning and I love the fact that this is not dense and it's fluffy and it just means that I just don't pack on as much blush which um, like I said I tend to do and then um, just to keep in my bag because um, I like to have um, a brush in my bag in case I feel like I'm looking a little bit lacklustre during the day. Um, I carry this around with me and the writing has um, rubbed off and I think it's like the blush brush or something um, from Real Techniques again and I did say this in one of my other videos my brush fell out of my bag in a club and some person must have stepped on it and um, it's got a huge dent. Every time I see this brush it makes me crack up a little bit but um, I just keep this in my bag and um, I use it for touch-ups during the day with my So that's it guys, those were my favourite brushes. I've actually bought a new set of brushes which are coming and um, once I play around with them and everything I'll, um, I'll sort of tell you guys how I've been getting on with them. Um, other than that, it's really getting hard to figure out what to film so if any of you guys have any suggestions let me know down below. You have to understand that it's hard being a YouTuber because you just ran out of ideas so quickly so um, just bear with me a little bit um, if the content isn't uber exciting. See you soon guys, bye!